Might be wrong about this, but I think yesterday was the first game where you had the same five guys play all snaps on the yeah. offensive line, right? Yeah. Um, what, what did that do for you? It's just nice to have the continuity. Um, obviously, up front, there's still a lot of things we got to clean up, but yeah, it was good to just have those guys out there, the guys that, you know, the, your best five. Um, so, yeah, I think it really helped our offense perform efficiently. Yeah, was that the best example of, of how the run, as, as much as you ran, really kind of helped dovetail the production you got out of 20 pass attempts? Yeah, no, uh, we, we kind of talked about that, just sticking with the run. Where we stick with the run, that'll open things up downfield. Um, and yeah, that's a perfect example of that. What do you like? What do you like best about what you're seeing from the running game right now? You guys are with 200 yards again. Mm -hmm. um, well, AJ and AJ and Aaron are both running their butts off, um, breaking tackles, running hard, attacking the line of scrimmage. Um, we're, we got pretty good get off up front. Again, attacking the defense. Um, and just good block finishing across the board. Uh, we're multiple with our schemes, which is great. Um, so I think we're doing a good job just keeping defenses off balance, um, which is, you know, half the battle right there. So we just got to keep improving at that, making sure we're the most physical team out there and just playing hard. Titans have been really good at stopping the run so far this year. What is it about their defense that makes them that? Yeah, it's going to be a huge challenge for us this week. Up front, they're very stout. They're big uh, across the board. They all move well, too. So they can really uh, play the zone schemes. And they're stout versus the gap schemes as well. So um, yeah, it's going to be a big challenge. Their linebackers are very aggressive, feel hard, uh, very instinctual. So uh, their safeties play in the box really hard as well. So they do a good job stopping the run. And you can tell that's a big priority for them. You see the way the game plan went yesterday. You run a ton, get 200 yards, only throw it 20 times, but pick your spots wisely downfield. Mm -hmm. why, why is it you know, not, not so simple just to do that every week? It just depends on can you run the ball. That's basically it. Um, and then do you have the downfield weapons to make them pay? That's probably the biggest thing right there. Was that the most um, you've seen a team bring its safety down, eight men in the box, was that? No, we've had that a few times this year where it's pretty much a single high game where you're going to have an extra hat in the box. Uh, a lot of teams do that. You know, just they're, they're daring you to throw the ball. That's basically what they're doing. So we made them pay yesterday. Do you think that'll um, change at all with what Christian Watson did? Yeah, I think so. I think defenses, you know, especially if he keeps stringing this together, will have to respect his speed and his downfield threat. Then all that said, like, it doesn't seem that long ago where Aaron would say that we never get to see one high safety, right? Mm -hmm. um, have you guys reached a point where you recognize that even if it's an eight-man box, you guys can still be productive, especially with Rob pointing out, you know, having your best five? Yeah. And how do, you, how do you make sure that you keep doing that, even though the numbers would tell you, well, maybe we need to can that play and go to the Yeah, no, I mean... Basically, you go into it planning for single high, you know, for the run game. So what are your answers? How are we going to handle the extra hat? All that stuff. And then, then you kind of see how the game's going, and you can work in that other stuff. Um, but yeah, you, you always have to plan for basically the worst case scenario, I guess, um, and go from there. Early on, um, uh, Sammy Watkins didn't play a ton, and then got um, a couple of big catches for you. Mm -hmm. What do you think that did for him, just in, in terms of uh, you know his confidence, consistency, connection? Yeah, it was nice to see him um, go out there and make some really big plays for us. Um, it's kind of been up and down the last few weeks, battling through some injuries and stuff like that. So just good to see him get out there and, and make those plays. And uh, hopefully he can just ride that momentum and keep doing a good job. Was the idea to um, use them as little as possible because of the injuries? or, or No, or? I think it was just, um, you know, with Christian there, just being able to put him out on the field more and kind of platoon them a little bit more. Steno, how do you build on what, I don't, I mean, maybe Christian will have three touchdowns a game for the rest of the season, <laughs> I don't know, but 
how do you build on what he did yesterday? Cause obviously, it was terrific yesterday, but it's just the starting point for him. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of see what we've been seeing for a, a while now at practice and stuff like that, his talent. Um, so it's nice to see all that come together. Um, obviously, three touchdowns is a pretty pretty great performance right there. Um, but yeah, we just I just want to see consistency out of him. I want to see him on the field on a weekly basis. It's kind of been an up and down ride this year, battling through some injuries and stuff like that. So um, yeah, if we can just get him on the field and you know, hopefully some more great performances happen. Was there a particular point in practice where you saw him start to turn a corner? I know he's been bad. I know he's been off and on with injuries, but yeah, I, I think that's been hard recently with the injury, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, you you saw it in OTAs when he was there with us. Just the speed he has and his ability to stretch the defense down the field, um, it's pretty elite. What was uh, Matt mentioned this yesterday? What was the uh, reaction in practice a couple weeks ago when he did the backflip? Yeah, everyone was pretty freaked out. <laughs> a lot of double takes, like what what just happened. Um, yeah, that, that's one of the more impressive things I've ever seen live right there. Obviously, I have trouble with my vertical these days, but uh, watching that, that's, that's crazy how someone can do that. Can it kind of discourage him to do that? I, I, I remember no, now. No, absolutely not. Ball. If he's scoring touchdowns, I don't care what he does afterwards. <laughs> so. so I, know, I know it's only one game. But he emerges at some point. Obviously, you're hoping that Romeo is healthy again. You, maybe you can get Cobb back this week. Maybe you can't. I, I know you guys have been through a really difficult first half. But can you start to see with the line? And can you see the pieces starting to come together where maybe your offense can start to look like the offense you were envisioning when you were putting together? The yeah. Game? No. I. I think. I hope. I hope so. I think you know the players, when they see it on film, they see it on the field. They kind of understand what we're trying to accomplish. Um, definitely, I hope we can all just keep getting better every single week from this, uh, and I think that that's going to be huge for us. How, how it, along those lines, how critical would it be? I know Aaron still is dealing with the thumb, but he was under center a ton more yesterday. Um, that does help enhance your play action game like if, if you can get back to what you do best how does that just change kind of the dynamic of your offense it just allows us multiple ways to attack defenses it gives us more options um so yeah it's a big part of what we want to be um but yeah it just gives you more options to attack defenses so did you sleep here last night too is that ever is that a no one? no i did not you're not as dedicated, or yeah. <laughs> no, it kind of worked ahead, anyways. But uh, yeah, I went home and enjoyed the win because it had been a while, a long time coming. <laughs>